Hey guys, what's up? Assalamu alaikum. Hope you're doing great. Nakasha Tal back with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, we're gonna create a nano effect from the movie called Iron Man. So uh, let me show you what we're gonna create here. So this is a simple object. Let me play here. As you can see here, our Iron Man suit built with uh, nano particles. So this is normal viewport rendering version. So let me show you. I also rendered it in Redshift, but it's not about rendering so I don't work on really hard on rendering there so I'm just showing you so let's begin so I'm using Selma 4D 2023 here so as you know uh, as you can see here there is my 3d model of the suit so this is only one single solid uh, layer so you make sure you just have one single solid layer if in it's in parts it's not gonna work so that's why you just make them com uh, combine them and connect it to one object so as you see here i'm using my laptop so that's why that polygon is so high for me but uh, in this rendering so i use these same polygon but i'm using my laptop not my workstation that's why i need to reduce the amount of the polygon for reducing the amount amount of the polygon we just use polygon reduction we just put it under that polygon reduction so it's take little time and it's calculating so we come back after it's finished polygon reduction so on it's done no not it's not done it's still working so let me pause for now and come back again so as you can see here now we have much less polygon so that's what we need now so let's just make it editable just press c click on that layer and press c so now we have this single uh low polygon a uh, low poly 3d model so we just rename it as uh, our suit suit so sorry for my bad english no worries so next thing we need to add a uh, more graph poly effects just put it under the suite sorry not so it's it's suit i think i don't know what is it so after that we need to add a more graph effector called plane so when you add plane so as you can see here something happening but we use field for our plane effector so go in your plane effector first we need to change some parameters so just uncheck the position we don't need that and click on here scale we just need scale in uniform scale click on uniform scale and minus one so that's what we need here so as you can see here we see nothing because our plane effector is affecting our polygon so next thing we need to do we just go click on field tab and add spherical field so as you can see here when we add a spherical field so it's only affect the area where is our spherical field so we just make sure it's not too much because we need to make it like automatically grow so we don't want it to affect only one single part so we just make it a little bit smaller so make sure like that so that's what we want now go back in your field tab and just simply add sorry not this one go in uh, this tab and add freeze here so after that go down and from the layer tab from the freeze just change mode from none to grow now if we hit play so let me show you magic happen so as you can see here it's automatically growing but as you know we need this effect inverted not uh, we want our suit is created by nano particle not destroyed by nano particle so for that we need to do some changing first we need to add some randomness in this field so for giving them randomness so what we're gonna do here just expand the freeze tab and in the radius just add random field and put under that radius like that make sure you follow that step so 
go back down there in your re uh, random field and change it to a wavy turbulence and now if we hit play as you can see here now it's become more what we say affected so but as you see here there is some areas not affected by this don't worry we're gonna fix it we just scale it up a little bit and remap it go in remapping and like just increase inner offset and also we just click on inverse not so that's it so so let's make it inverted so what we're gonna do here we just combine these two fields spherical and freeze field and put it to a group field from selection like that now we add a box field here where is our box sorry not capsule field box field here and put it under our group field and go in that side select our box field here make it bigger and also the fall off like that and also on this side because we don't want let me show you what I mean here and also from the this side so as you can see here now if we gonna play nothing happened because we need to add some more things here so box is down now we add one more uh, field here, uh, one more what we say invert so add invert so when you add invert as you can see here and we just add it to a normal so now if we hit play so as you can see our effect is working so that's how you can create that effect so i hope you like this video and if you have any question just comment below or any you want to see any other tutorial just let me know so i try to create that also so as you can see here it's looking pretty cool so that's the simple a uh, few steps you can create your own so thanks for watching i hope you like this video subscribe my channel and share it with your friend bye bye and allah peace